Okay, let's get into it. So I've drawn a little bit of stuff up on the whiteboard here to help us out with it. Um, some things we need to know. The X and Y axis. Every single, starting out with every single 3D drawing has to start out with a 2D drawing first. And so when we're, when we're building our house, we're going to start with the bottom first. Then we will pull it up. We'll use the push-pull tool in Inventor. We call that extrude. So we're going to be, we'll be extruding it into our Z axis. So you have your X and you have your Y axis. If you think about, um, some of you might be taking algebra, you have your slope, your, your slope and intercept form. So Y equals MX plus B, that kind of stuff. You're probably not getting into that yet, just yet in middle school, but um, that's something that the X and Y planes are, are what we have to know first before we get into the 3D aspect of it. Um, we're gonna get into roof slope here once we, once we get the building um, built up and it goes really quick, and then the extra features that we can add in will come up really easily. If you look at what I have written right here, right where my light is kind of shining. So when we are gonna, we're gonna be using the rectangle tool, which is right here. And we're gonna, we want the green line and we want the red line. So we're gonna be drawing it on the screen just like this. I'm gonna start pulling it out. And you can see down in the corner, down in the corner of our screen, you can see the dimensions right there. Okay, so we are gonna, we want it to be 20 foot by 30 foot. We're gonna have the building go 20 foot by 30 foot. There it is. So you can just start typing in. You don't have to delete anything. You can just start typing in. You can go 20 and then you have to put the apostrophe because apostrophe, when we're talking about measurement, means feet. Then you're gonna put a comma. Then you need to type a space for using the space bar. Then you can type in the 30 and then an apostrophe. Oops. So I need to type that in again. 20 apostrophe, comma, space, 30 apostrophe, and then you can hit enter. And you can see that if I zoom out, to get rid of this thing right here, if I zoom out, you can see that we just made a building. I need to move my screen so I can see what I'm doing. We just made a building that is 20 feet long or 20 feet wide by 30 feet long. So if I exit this and then get back into this part right here, okay. So it's gonna be it's gonna be doing that. You'll be able to see that it's 20 by 30. Okay. Now you can see that I'm still I still anytime I touch the screen now, it's gonna want to draw a rectangle. Hit escape to get rid of the tool. You had to escape to a drop a tool and then do control Z to go back. Control Z goes backward. Uh, escape drops the tool. Control Y will bring that back. If I want to, let's say I went back, I would do control Z too many times. You can hit control Y and it will bring it back. Control Z goes backward. Control Y goes forward. Okay. So now I have this. I have my X and Y plane created. I'm going to use the push pull tool, which is. One of these right here, I gotta figure out where this is on on the the tools are a little bit they're laid out a little bit different. Here's a push pull right here. You're looking for this one right here, this push pull. So this one right here will bring it into 3D. You can click on the surface and start pulling it up. We're gonna make our side walls, I don't know, let's do eight feet. Eight foot. Okay. Let's say I didn't do eight foot. Let's say I didn't do eight in apostrophe. Let's grab the push pull, grab it, and just type in eight. What happens if I just type in eight? It's automatically gonna assume that if you don't put the apostrophe, you mean inches. If you were gonna not put the apostrophe, hit escape, control Z. You're not gonna put the apostrophe. If you wanna write 96, 96 inches, we're going to click on this and move it up. 96 inches is the same as 8 feet. So there we go. We have 8-foot sidewalls now. Okay. So now we have our basic, we have the basic part to our building. We'll add a window on each end and then a door in the front and a door in the back. Uh, we will, we'll get to that. We might have a little visitor right here. Okay. So now on the short, the short side, the side that's 20 feet long. This is how 